My name is Brady Augustine. Uh, I'm with DNS Dental in Johnson City, Tennessee. Uh, I'm the training coordinator there. And uh, last November, our uh, vice president of operations came to PALS uh, BEI and he came back excited. So um, he initially uh, kind of conscripted me to come back to the next round along with the owner. Um, and then we got to thinking it was so important that we decided to go ahead and bring all of our supervisors along with. So this, this time around, we're bringing a, a little bit larger group um, and uh, we're just excited about what we can do. For us, at least from my perspective, I've been convinced, I began as an operator and knew from a very, at a, a very early point in my career at DNS that we had a world-class product. The difficulty I think that we had was how do we develop that world-class product in an efficient enough manner, in a world-class manner, so that we can improve our bottom line. And for us, the cost and the convenience of coming up to, to PALS BEI and uh, getting this kind of world-class training, not only that, but then coming out with action items that we can immediately go back and begin to change our company for the better, um, it's hard to put a price tag on that. The return on investment, um, it, it kind of comes in two parts for me. One is to sort of be affirmed in the things that I have been doing. I've only been at this position for a little over 12 months and we're beginning, we're creating the programs as we go. So uh, having been in a franchise situation managing that, it's always good to talk to people who have their systems in place and know how they work. Um, on, the, on the other side of that though, it really showed us our weaknesses and if we can uh, close some of the gaps in our systems, I think really the sky's the limit for us. So then again, when you talk about return on investment, it goes to not just the training program, um, but basically our bottom line. And with the, the numbers that we're looking at in terms of our product, we really we feel like the sky's the limit. So if I can come to uh, a place like this, learn what I need to learn, close a few gaps, I feel like the return on investment, I feel the same way, the sky's the limit is the difference that I will see from a manufacturing pers perspective. And what we manufacture is, uh, it's a very precise product, it's a medical device. Is there a difference only in degree or is there a difference in kind? Is this something where the principles will carry over? Um, I expected that they were, and uh, but at the same time I had some, some hesitation because some of what we do is so fine and so finely tuned. Uh, it's, it is different to making french fries, making burgers. But what I did find through the training is it's a difference in degree, not a difference in kind. So that means I can take the same principles, I can apply them. There may be different ways we have to apply them. Uh, they may take different forms at our manufacturing plant than they take in a PALS restaurant, but all of the principles carry over. And so from a manufacturing perspective or a food per service per perspective, excuse me, um, all of the principles, at least that I've seen, and the way that I've interpreted them, they do carry over. And so for me, I would say to anybody that you know, is in our situation, has a product in particular that they know can sell, but maybe has some gaps in, in the way that they operate and the efficiencies, and, and, but, and at the same time has the desire uh, and some of the people and the heart to be world class, this is the place to learn how to, how to close those gaps. We take our action items, we, we get our projects done, but, but the tendency maybe there is to kind of, that's, that's the end of it. And I think, you know, we're pretty good about being a consistently introspective company. Um, so that would go to, well, hey, who's next? I mean, where's our bench depth? Who's gonna be, you know, we, okay, we've got the owner on board, we've got the uh, vice president of engineering, the vice president of operations on board, training coordinators on board. Now we brought on all the supervisors. Well, who's next? We have a set of team leads that immediately comes to mind for me, but we need to develop that bench depth. We need everybody to be on board.